What it do guys, and welcome back to the review block for another unboxing. So what do we got today? TWS you say? No, I say to you. Here we go. Op kicks one. Action camera. This is going to be the new GoPro killer. I mean, GoPros don't last very long as it is anyway. I only use my GoPro for rec. I like to go to Disneyland and go to theme parks and places like that. And I like to take my camera with me. But you know, I'm not going to take my very expensive camera to shoot. And to let you know, there's actually two in this sucker. There's two cameras, so you could just switch them off. Charge one, use one. Now this is supposed to be the social media camera for everyone to use. That way you're not stuck behind a camera the whole time. You actually get to be in the moment. I actually got this camera at the Fred Hall Convention and Outdoor Show. Now enough with all the blib blops and blibbity bloop bloops. Is the camera good? Is this camera any good? Let's check it out today on the review block. Here you go guys, here we got it, OpKix 1. Now this camera features camera specs, look at the camera specs. A resolution of 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, which is plenty, because even if you were to get like 4K, YouTube and places like Instagram, you know, they compress that and it makes it even smaller. This camera is IP67, water and dust resistant. So what I hear on the website is that a you can actually submerge this in like three feet of water for 30 minutes and it'll survive. No longer than 30 minutes because then after that the seal will start popping. But IP67 is not bad. You can actually, this is a wearable camera so you can actually be in the rain and get wet a little bit. Camera housing is made of aerospace aluminum. Record time up to 70 minutes of capture because I have two cameras on here. So 70 minutes, but each camera only does 15 minutes at a time. That's 30. Double charge at 60. So it does, it will charge your cameras, you know, once each one and maybe one more time. And the lens cover of these is actual sapphire glass. Sapphire. Look at all of that. Let's, let's open this guy. It's so pretty. Look at that. Side, nice box, nice black box. Ooh, very nice. Very nice box. When you open the box, you greet it with the egg. Op kicks one egg. Kind of looks like. Kind of looks like AirPods. <laughs> and you also get one of these glasses clips, magnetic clips. Got off to the side, people use that further inside you're supposed to get another glasses clip here but I, I've already used that one and there's a hat clip got a hat clip in there and we got our instructions and extra adhesive clips to put. and that's all you get inside the OpKix one now here we go guys we got the cameras here the case looks remarkably like an AirPods case but this one you actually have to turn on because actually all the technology to transfer all the videos it's inside the egg. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. uses the compatibility of both to transfer over the videos to your phone. So you're supposed to turn it on by holding down this button. See that yellow one? And then now it starts doing its little boot up. See how it's little booting up? And I believe the egg is on now. Once all the lights are on, light turns off, eggs are on. That means open the flap, it's charging them, see? One getting charged right now. See how I have the yellow light there? Yellow light means it's charging. Double solid green lights means that they are fully charged. So one of them fully charged already. So we should really try, let's try to use one of these guys. These guys, now the build quality of these, it's nice, it's solid. It's solid, it could be a little better. I see some, I, in my testing, I seen some of the edges are a little rough. You know, also one thing I want to add that this case is very nice. I like it. Um, but make a case for it. Make a case for this thing. I already dropped it once and I feel like I may have already broken it, but it actually still works perfectly. Let's check the camera. Let's see how, what they look like. So you open up the lid, pull one out. Now you're supposed to either wear one. Oops. Oh no, the Millennium Falcon. Now you're supposed to wear these. These are wearable, so it's either you have and they have a wide variety of mounts for this thing. They 
have from hat clips to glasses clips, which I have one here. This one's for the glasses you put here. Put it on the arms of the glasses through here. And it actually has somewhere with those magnets. Right? See all those two dots right there? That's the magnets. And it attaches like that. So then you have the camera on like this. Pull on by your glasses and you wear the glasses. They have selfie sticks. Selfie sticks are magnetically attached to that. Great thing too. They have a silicone ring you can put the camera on. You could get that as well. Put it on your finger and point at everybody. They got that too. Cool attachment. And they also have these cool chains you can wear. Be stylish, wear the chain, and clip the little camera in there. And you always have it with you when ready. We don't have to just carry the egg. Cool attachment. So as you can see, they have all kinds of mounts. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless with this camera. You could do anything with it. So the specs are that it does have Kingston flash memory in them. I believe it's about four gigs. It will do 15 minutes of video and one, I'd say one charge. Video quality is actually very good. You still have to enhance it though in the video app. There's actually the app, the video app actually has a stabilizer and all kinds of other stuff that you can use. Edit, add music, cuts, trim, all kinds of like quick little edit stuff. Now you just push the button once Oh, when it turns on, it's going to have its own little halo light there, so now it's recording right now. And it beeps once. Camera looks good. Let's cut the back of it. Let's see, let's do a little video here. And the camera's really had its own little halo light, so it does all right in low light. I think it could be better. The sensors need to be better. I really think they have a winner on their hands. They just need to update the, the technology needs to be a little better. Very cool. Two beeps, it's off, it stops recording. Now, a ver very cool thing that I like about this thing is that it's wearable. Put it on, you set it and forget. So for 15 minutes, you're good to just enjoy the moment. You know, let the camera do its work. Now, the thing, the troubles I can, I came across. You, the hat mount actually mounts the camera this way, so you only get a portrait view of whatever you're recording. You really want a landscape, right? So you really should have it like this, with the button on top or the button on the bottom. Now, how do you get the videos off of this thing? Very simple, my friend. Let's put it in here. Download the OpKicks Studio app to my egg right here. See how it says? Connecting one file on your egg. So it does show. What I like about this is like it even shows when I open the lid. Uh oh. The lid's open. Lid's closed. Lid's open. Lid's closed. Lid's open. Oh, let's go. We can see even charge it tells you when it's charging. There you go, 100%. Charging, charging, and charging. So it has one file. Let's check the file. Join network, which is this. It actually connects to this through Wi Fi to show you a preview of the videos. There's our video right there. Click that. Can you? Let's see. If we, can we preview before we do anything? Let's see if we can preview. There you go. And it came out just how I wanted it, just like that. Now it just has. To, it does have to load it. I don't know why it takes longer on iOS. On Android, load it up. Bam, like that. Quick note in a hurry. So let's just download it. And the, when you download, it's gonna delete it right after too. So after it downloads, bam, it's off It's off of this, and it's done. Now it does flash blue lights when it's transferring over data. There you go. Keep it coming. Now one thing with this, they don't have it actually perfected for iOS. I don't think they have much support for iOS yet. Uh, it works great on Android, no problems on Android. 
let's check out our video real quick. Let's see what our video looks like. And you can see the video quality not that bad. Oh no, you saw my face. Now this camera is very cool for quick videos, maybe even for social media posts. Great, great camera. I I would call even call this a GoPro killer because you just put it on, that's it. GoPro, you have to have so many attachments. The attachments are so tiny for this thing. Look at the little attachment for my glasses. That's all I really need, actually. This is the only attachment I'm gonna need. The hat clip doesn't serve me well because I know I'm not gonna let my glasses go. My glasses are always tied on my head. The hat may definitely lose, you know, give way and take off. That's it, I lost my camera. I lost my GoPro, my $400 GoPro. It's only $395, $400, $400. But I would say, you, cause you get two cameras. Even if you lose one, you still have a backup. <laughs> now it's very cool. I don't know if you enjoyed the video itself or what the quality is. It could be better. I do have to enhance some of the video myself. Now my gripe says, now that I would say the pros, the pros of it, look at stylish, has a cool case. The whole concept of it is very cool. I wish it recorded longer. I gotta say 15 minutes is all right. But for someone who's trying to use this, gonna spend 395 on a camera like this, they're gonna wanna record more. This is a brand new company to Atta Costa Mesa, so I think they need to up, they're gonna update this thing. This thing's gonna get updated, it's gonna get all new, maybe possibly quality uh, technology, better quality technology inside of it. Maybe the sensor will get better, maybe it'll, they'll figure out a way to turn off that halo light. I did find some things online on their website, little Interesting that we're a little off. Like it says, so the egg's supposed to have storage in it. The egg does not have storage. The egg only has like 282 megabytes, so that's not enough storage. It's supposed to have 16 gigabytes. Now, my thing, optimally, if I had to redesign this thing, I would say as soon as you put the camera back in the egg, bam, instantly, it's transferring all that data into the egg storage. So all I have to do is go and connect the egg. Now, that would have been an even better and faster way to do it. Or they could have done where I could have done all that. Yeah, just still connected it with with the cameras inside. But no, you have to use the app. You have to use their app. It's there. So that's the thing I don't like about it. You have to use the app. After you take it off, it's not that hard to take the cameras off, especially with uh, with Android. It's much easier to work with it. And most of my editing is done on Android anyway. So I would say it's not a big big deal. But those are just improvements I would like to see. But if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you have any questions about the OpKix One camera. Let me know what you think about it. Is it cool? Is it worth the 395? You know, I got it for 395 with all the all the attachments and mounts. But 395 only buys you this. This only it only buys you this. So is it worth it? To me, I don't I don't think so. They need to make sure they, I think it will be worth it once the technology is much better. And the camera's better, you know? But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment if you have any questions about OpKix One, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. But from the review block and OpKix One, say bye OpKix One, boop boy. We'll see you on the next one, guys.